It's alive. It's moving. It's alive. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. As a kid growing up, some of the best things that I, I remember as a child are staying up late after my parents went to bed and watching some of the old horror movies that would come on. Seeing like uh, Elvira or Spangoolie, you know, when I would watch those as a kid, or Vincent Price when he would come on and, and he would have different horror movies that would be on. It was, it was just an exciting time. It scared the living daylights out of me, but I loved it growing up. Getting to see, um, like, the uh, the vampire movies and Frankenstein and the Wolfman. And one of the ones that made a huge impact on me that I still remember to this day that just scared the living daylights out of me when I was a child was The Creature from the Black Lagoon. And I want to tell you guys a little story about that right now. All systems are functional. So first off, a little bit of history. Uh, on February 3rd, the 1950s screen actress Julie Adams, she starred in the famous horror flick Creature from the Black Lagoon. She passed away. And that's been talked about a little bit in recent news. But this story actually gets more interesting than that. There is another lady that was a part of that famous film that had an even bigger impact on the movie. And her name is Millicent Patrick. And Millicent is the first and only female desi who designed an iconic movie monster. And she did this for the 19 horror film Creature from the Black Lagoon. But her name was left out of the film's credits, meaning that she did not receive any acknowledgement for her work on this. It's common nowadays for pretty much everyone who works on a movie to get some kind of recognition or credit for working on that movie. But back in the 1950s, it was not nearly as common as it is now. But there is a good ending to the story. On March 5th, there's a book called The Lady from the Black Lagoon that is going to talk about the life of Millicent Patrick. And I would really like for you guys, if you get a chance, to go check out this book when it comes out because I think it's great to pay a little bit of homage and honor to someone who has made such an impact on the horror movie franchises and genre. And I'm going to definitely pick it up myself. And with that news, I will catch you guys on the flip side. And remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching. <laughs>